Let's now go to the Bono region where the Doma Central Municipal Assembly has commenced the construction of a multi-purpose kindergarten block for the Kofiusia School in the region. Well, this was after TV3 Mission reported on the congested nature of a makeshift structure serving the pupils. Residents of Kofieswa and its adjoining communities began enrolling their wards in school in the early 90s after government provided a pavilion to shelter pupils in only three classes. No additional structure has since been provided by government. The growing population of the school compelled parents to support the school. Through communal labor and monthly contributions, they have been able to provide their school with a befitting office, classroom blocks for the primary pupils. Kindergarten pupils are now put together in a makeshift during classes. The school library was then converted to hold parts of the KG pupils due to discomforting situation during instructional hours. Four months after the mission team's report, the Doma Central Municipal Assembly has gone to the aid of the school. It has commenced construction of a multi-purpose classroom block designed to include two classrooms, restroom, indoor play area, washrooms, among others. At the time of the mission team's follow-up visit, workers were on site and brisk work was ongoing. Municipal Chief Executive for Doma Central, Drisa Watara, is optimistic adequate funds would help address the infrastructure deficit in the area. Um, we've been able to get some funding from the district development facility and uh, as our priority, we thought that we should go straight into um, the building of those you know, structures, I mean the kindergarten um, blocks that you are seeing now. So if you go to Kofiusia, um, we've started one over there. It all boils down to money. Um, we live in Doma. Our level of IGF um, is not that much. So what we are doing now is to sensitize the people to making sure that uh, they honor their tax obligation. Head teacher of the school, Andrew Skofiatha, is confident the structure, if completed, would boost enrollment. Initially, we were having a problem with the KG. If you look at the old structure, it is made up of the wood. And then the classroom, they were congested because it was not a per permanent one. And now that it is a new building, even more people will come and we are going to have a lot of uh, people in the, this school. A former assemblyman for the area, Stephen Kwame Asante Krobia, is part of the mobilization team for the school's development. Uh, uh, Say Mra Obahano, it is some two and it's a children will be a Sanocoto and see an Indo, also Chanama, Sabri, or Musi, Kiji, T, Kurunzu, the Energy, Asumpa. The project is suspected to be completed within an eight month period. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid, and the EU. Thanks so much for watching.